Now the latest from the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. Scotts Bluff Body and Paint, you're driving home our reputation. Plenty going on as we settle in to the new year. About some Monday night hoops on the Rural Radio Network for the first time since the calendar flip. The WNCC basketball teams will be in action on the same night tonight with the Cougars heading to Torrington for a pair of contests against rival EWC. Now the Cougar women, they opened up the 2024 portion of the schedule with a blowout home win over Central Wyoming on Saturday. While the men, they had their game Friday against Taylor Made Prep canceled tonight. Both teams at EWC, and we'll have those games with Chuck Schwartz on KOLT 690, 101.7. That'll start with the 14-1 Cougar women, and then the Cougar men look for their ninth win of the season playing the Lancers. All that gets started on KOLT tonight at 515. About some high school basketball notes from this past weekend. Sydney girls coach Tyler Shaw won his 300th career game as the Lady Raiders knocked off Lincoln Christian in a big one in Kearney. The Bridgeport girls stay unbeaten while the Bear girls have just one loss on the season as well. Now for the two teams right here in town, it was a mixed bag. Scott's Bluff when it combined three and one against Waverly and Crete, including a boys double overtime win against Waverly on Friday, followed by a girls overtime victory over Crete on Saturday. Tony Siski made his return to Scott's Bluff as his top ranked Cardinals won by 17 over the Cats Saturday. Now over at Gearing, the Bulldogs won a combined 0-4 against those same two schools between Friday and Saturday. A few wrestling recaps are also posted online right now. There was plenty of action over the weekend for teams from the region. That was at the Garden County invite, plus the Gearing boys finished in ninth in Columbus on Saturday. Full results can be found at KDB.com. And who you got tonight? I'm not a big fan of teams going through coaching news on the day of a big game, but let's face it, it's not like Michigan isn't used to coaching drama. I do expect Michigan-Washington tonight to be a great one, plus a great uniform game. I'll go ahead and pick the Wolverines 31-30 due to their running game, but this one could go either way. That is the latest from right here at the Scotts Bluff Body and Paint Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.